Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and as usual I've got some pretty cool stuff to share with you. Um, this should be a fun one, this should be a real fun one. I'm going to start with, well I got this in the mail, Lamborghini Countach, 25th anniversary Tomica Limited Vintage Neo. Okay, I've showed the first two Countaches, the one in orange and the one in yellow, the LP400. And those have some issues, particularly with the scissor doors. Uh, I've, I have opened up this one. I took a few pictures of it. I posted some to Instagram. This one does not seem to suffer uh, from the same issue. Now, it's not perfect, and we'll get into that in the next segment, but it's not that bad. So... We'll have to check that out. I got really a lot of good stuff here. So I'm actually really excited to do this video. Um, <clears throat> and then for my birthday, uh, which was last weekend, my buddy Crazy Todd gave me this Auto World Mio Exclusive Patina Suburban Chase, the Ultra Red. This thing actually looks pretty cool with red rims. We're going to get into that too. We're going to go ahead and cut that open and open that up in the next segment. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Oh, I did get uh, this, some Beetles, some loose Volkswagen Beetle Hot Wheels. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five of these guys. I got them from my buddy Tor. Um, he, I, I got these from, I think, a long time ago. And then he finally shipped them to me or whatever. And uh, I think by now, though, the funny thing is, is I think there's only one I actually need in this uh, in this pile of five so we'll look at them and i'll and i'll show you that um in the next segment so that's stuff that i got oh one other thing i got this legends legends tour skyline so i got that in the mail so that is pretty nifty as well um so that one uh yeah this one i just uh on a whim i went ahead and went in and bought it um these things are kind of pricey with shipping and all that stuff but it is what it is they'll be They'll go for more later on in life. Who knows? Whatever. Anyway, I wanted that Skyline, so I picked it up. Um, all right. So the rest of this stuff I actually got today at my local diecast meet. And I'm not going to show you everything that I got at that meet just because we're not going to have enough time to look at all of it. I didn't really haul out too hard here. There's just a few that I'm cutting out um, that I'll show probably next week. And that's okay. Um, but I'll show you what I did get. Now, one thing I'm really excited about is I got... The green light battalion 64 the tanks these things are pretty neat dude sherman tanks uh 1941 m4 and a 1952 m4 i'm really stoked to get these out of the package and see what they're all about i was like shocked honestly when green light decided to come out with this series and put out some 164 scale tanks I have no idea how close they are to actual 164. The only thing we're going to be able to do is kind of compare it to some other cars here. Uh, because I don't know what the actual measurements on a, on a real deal tank is. I have no idea. Um, I could look it up maybe. But either way, I'm excited to see how the track looks on these. Um, overall quality of them. I'm just really interested in checking these out. I think they're going to be pretty neat. Um, I also picked up one more... Uh, truck from this series i got the 1984 chevy m1008 cucv which is uh this guy right here so i picked up that truck as well um i almost picked up the whole set because it's a pretty cool set uh to be honest and this is from sc diecast my buddies um that uh you should definitely check out for your green light needs um definitely really cool to me oh i also picked up from them i got a mini gt mio exclusive they also sell the, the Mio exclusive Mini GTs. And this is an actual USA exclusive. I don't think this is coming out internationally. Uh, limited to 7,200 pieces. It's a Ford GT Mark II. 2019 Pebble Beach Concours de Elegance. Probably totally butchered the pronunciation of that, but whatever. So there's that. So that's the stuff. And I picked up some other green light from them as well, uh, which I will show in a subsequent video. But uh, so I grabbed that stuff from them and then I got a couple of loose cars from a person that was selling there. I got a Ford GT LM and then a Lamborghini, uh, Murcielago, right? That's what this is, isn't it? Yeah, 
So I picked up those two. I don't know what this is from, if this is anything special. I just don't remember ever seeing this in teal, so I grabbed it. Um, he was also selling, he was blowing stuff out. So I got those, I think, for 50 cents a piece, those cars. And then these I got for two bucks a piece. I got a couple of ID cars. I got the Mercedes AMG GT3 and the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Uh, just picked up those two, like I said, because they were in his little bin for $2 a piece. And I thought for two bucks a piece, that's less than they were retail. So might as well snag them up. Another thing I just picked up just on the simple fact because it was a good deal uh, was this. Uh, this 41 Willis Gasser. This was a selections car. I know, I get it, they're not that limited, right, in comparison to some other RLC pieces, but the guy had it on his table for $25, and I was like, you know what, someday down the road I'll probably flip this, so I'm just going to throw this in the vault for now, and uh, maybe someday right down the road I'll use it as trade bait or give it to somebody or do something with it, I don't know. I just couldn't leave it on the table for that. I mean, price, that's less than it cost when it came out, right, so there's that um and then speaking of gassers we got some more gassers we got uh this guy just picked up a main line haven't found it in the wild yet so decided to go ahead and get the triassic five in purple why not and then we've got this mercury comet cyclone from the hot wheels garage series snagged up this guy too that's pretty cool so we're gonna open up that that's a neat one and then the last thing i got was chase mercedes from the deutschland design really solid set of car culture and i was glad to snag up the chase it was for a price i just couldn't refuse so i decided to go ahead and get it but yeah like i said i mean maybe we don't have a ton of quantity here but we've got we need to get get some cars together for like a thumbnail but we've got some cool stuff to look at. How am I going to do this? You know? But we got some really nifty... Ooh, get the fingers out of the way. Nifty items. So I am stoked on that. Very, very cool. Very, very neat. Um, yeah, all these are pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. But these I'm really stoked to look at. These are going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and flip the camera around and let's not waste any time and start cutting open some packaging. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little bit of experimentation here. As usual, we've been doing this on these videos now lately because I've been messing with the audio, uh, camera and all that jazz. I did get a new telephone or telephone. I got a new cell phone. And, uh, so hopefully the video is slightly better than my old iPhone eight plus, We've got the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. We're going to try that. We got a little bit of a different background back here. This is a like kind of a thicker cloth. It's black. I don't know. It might be terrible. It might be better. Uh, the only way to find out is to try, right? And I don't have time to just monkey around with trying, you know, trying videos, looking at them, doing it again, you know. I got kids and stuff, and, you know, they, they're, we're busy. All right which I'm sure all of you are, so I should stop wasting your time talking about it. Let's go ahead and get into the cars. This is the Nissan Skyline GTR R32 from the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. Uh, I do have the Gasser from these series when they started reissuing basically Super Treasure Hunts or recoloring Super Treasure Hunts. I've got the Gasser. I do not have the Chevy Silverado. I should get that one. Um, I don't have it, but I do have this one now, this Nissan Skyline uh, GTR R32 decided to go ahead and pick it up. If you're not familiar with what these are, um, oh, you know the other one I don't have? I don't think I've got the Datsun Wagon either. Um, the Datsun Wagon you had to actually go to the event to get. I don't think you could order it online, uh, but since then you've been able to kind of order these online, so a lot of people have been able to get them. I have no idea um, actually how rare they are. I have no idea what kind of production numbers these things actually are. Uh, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's a cool car. I actually kind of started collecting sort of loosely in uh, 2007 is when I started randomly picking up cars. So I remember this being a super treasure hunt back then and uh, decided to go ahead and pick this one up. Actually, I have the regular treasure hunt of the original. I do not have the super. So this will be this will be interesting. I don't know how this is going to look. Hopefully it looks okay. It seems 
slightly washed out here. And I'm going to go ahead, actually. All right, whatever. We're just going to roll with it. I uh, tried to fix the lighting a little bit, but uh, I don't know. It just looks weird to me through here. But it uh, could be the background. Not sure. But again, anyway, we're just going to let her, let her go, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we've got uh, this uh, Nissan Skyline, and I think it looks pretty good. Um Looks like they did a pretty good job. I like these because they're actual uh, Tampo, like full deco. It's not like the like car culture stuff where it is. Um, uh, let's see here. Is this thing gonna automatically focus? All right, so I'm still trying to figure out this uh, <laughs> new phone. And it's just, I don't know. It's got this macro thing. All right, so when I go, can it, will it do it now? Is it gonna do it now? There it goes, bing, now it's got, now we're in macro mode. Uh, yeah, so bear with me, guys, as uh, my dumb, dumb brain tries to figure out this camera. We're going to see some weird stuff, and I don't, like I said, I don't have a ton of time to edit and all that crap, and I'm still, <laughs> we're still talking about it. All right, so anyway, this car is really cool. I'm glad to get this uh, Skyline added to the collection. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, it's a cool color. There it goes, I just switch back to non-macro. Just got to spend time editing that out, but that's not going to happen. All right, so pretty cool. Let's just move on. This is a, a neat car. I'm glad to add it to the collection. This lighting looks weird, and we're getting camera jitters and all sorts of stuff. Can I kind of, if I do that, nope. All right, whatever. The show must go on. All right, the next is this AMG Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series. Very cool very neat very nifty it's a chase um still on the fence about whether i really like the chases being in car culture it's kind of cool because i guess it gives especially people that hunt all the time uh something really neat to kind of look for um so that is kind of neat but uh let's see if we can get it to go is it gonna macro it are you gonna do it there you go now you can see it up close very neat i got some uh dust on it from the package from the cardboard and i mean not a ton to look at here it's a uh it's a black mercedes it does look pretty nice i like that they're kind of themed as being all black i don't know if that's something that they are going to do and uh see the ultra wide boom now we're just playing with the camera it actually might be best to just stick to that camera. But then the car's kind of far away and you can see my whole setup here. We're going to have to do some experimenting. So, and I'm sorry about all of this. But it is what it is. Alright, so that's cool. Got that guy. Uh, a couple more Hot Wheels in the bunch here. We got this thing right here. And that camera flipping back and forth is super annoying. I'm going to have to figure out a way to shut that off. But it is cool that you can get really up close. And check it out nice and up close. That's that's kind of that's kind of cool that we can actually get it really close in there. So that'll be fun uh, once, you know, I get my... my stuff together here uh so there's that here's that lamborghini not the best uh casting uh from hot hot wheels whatsoever definitely not the greatest um but it's a lambo kind of loosely collect them this casting's kind of ugly because especially this one the wheels just sit back in the wheel well in the back a little bit further than the front ones and it gives it kind of this goofy goofy look that i'm not really digging all right next speaking of lambo might as well get this guy out of the way the lamborghini countach 25th anniversary it'll be nice when i get this camera stuff down i won't be so distracted maybe we'll have higher quality content but let's go ahead and check this out so right away off the bat i'm annoyed right because you have to add side mirrors and that's super annoying i don't like having to do that i don't like that they don't put the mirrors on right away um this is your typical high-end Tomica Limited Vintage Neo, or I should say, yeah, I guess high-end. Uh, the Ferraris come in this type of packaging. The Lamborghinis come in this type of packaging. It is a, kind of a square box, 
close to square anyway. And it's nice. I mean, it, it is really cool. Uh, it's nice. It's almost like you're opening up a little watch or a piece of jewelry or something like that. Here is the... Uh, the mirrors that will not be added to the vehicle. There is absolutely no guide as to where to put those on, so I am not talented enough to do that. This car probably already has my fingerprints all, all over it because I've already uh, taken it out. I've already shot some pictures of it, uh, which turned out pretty decent. I posted one of them to my Instagram, so check that out on my Instagram if you want to. I think I also posted one to YouTube, actually, in the community page, so you can check that out as well. The tires are actually pretty dirty because of where I took a picture of it. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'll have to clean this thing up before I display it. So right off the bat, they did a much better job with the doors on this one than we've seen in the previous Countach's. Um, they actually shut, and they kind of like snap shut too. So they kind of snap up, and they look pretty good like that. Now they're a little off center, but you can kind of adjust them a little bit. And... They're on a very, very small piece of metal. Let's see if we can get in on that. Switch to macro, do it. You know, I think something else is really annoying, but I think it's doing like an HDR thing, like a high dynamic range. And I think that also kind of confuses it when it's switching uh, between cameras, but we can really get in there now. And that's kind of nice. Like this, see how the light, the, if my hands change color? We'll get this figured out. But it is nice that you can get up real close to this and actually really take a good look. So that's going to be a nice tool to use during videos. But might as well open up uh, the back as well. It has an opening engine compartment and it's got some details in there as well. Let's see if we can get a focus. So you can kind of see in there. It's very cool. Wheels look really cool. It is cool that we can get nice and close. That's going to be neat. And we just got to focus back on it sitting on the ground. All right. And then, like I said, the doors actually kind of snap back into place. And they did not do that on the previous uh, Countach. So let's see. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get close up again. Is it going to automatically do it? Nope. There's your macro setting. It's crazy what it does with the lighting. We are definitely going to have to do something about that. Somebody that's an iPhone expert. You know, John Lamley, help me out if you watch this video. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, I think he shoots all his videos on a 13 Pro Max as well, so... You should be able to tell me about all the little quirks of it because we're definitely seeing some here. All right, so there's that. Uh, very, very cool. The Countach is awesome. I should, a uh, little bit more detail here. You got uh, tail lights that look great. You've got the headlights that look great. Overall, I think they did a great job with this one. Much, much better than the, the LP400 model. So much, much better with that. So why is it doing that? All right, very, very cool. All right, next let's take a look at this uh, Patina Series Chase Miho exclusive. Very cool. Um, thank you very much, Crazy Todd, for hooking me up with this one. Very, very thankful indeed. Happy birthday to me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and cut it open. I think I just fixed the weird lighting thing. The iPhone had this weird setting in the camera where it will, if it thinks it's in low light or something, it will change the frame rate. It'll drop the frame rate to like 30 FPS from 60 FPS. And I think that's what was causing the weirdness with the uh, change in color. I guess we'll find out as we go. So these are limited, I don't know, to not that many. Uh, it's 3,600 pieces. I'm guessing there's one per 48. Probably how these are set up. This is gonna fit in the box. It might. I'll probably try to force it in there later. Um, this does look really cool though. Pretty neat. I like it. Uh, for a chase, we don't get much ultra red on this one, except for of course the base and the rims. 
And uh, I'm going to say it looks pretty awesome like that, actually. The front of the car, you can see, is ultra red as well. Um, I didn't grab out the uh, standard one to uh, compare it to, but uh, the hood doesn't want to go up on this one either, which is fine. We're just going to leave it down. And uh, very, very neat. I think it actually looks really good with the red rims and the red bumpers. Little weird little red accents. I think that looks fantastic, actually. Kind of Christmassy looking with that color red. Uh, but very, very cool. Should we get a macro shot of it? Bing bong. All right. And still doing the weird kind of. Tries to compensate, I think, for when you're up close for getting better lighting. But, yeah, that's what I think it's doing. It might be the HDR setting. I'm not sure. I'll have to play around with it. All right, but you guys don't want to sit and deal with me doing that throughout the entire video. Uh, all right, uh, next, let's take a look. Well, we'll just take a look real quick at the gasser. We've got this guy right here. Uh, 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. We don't need to spend much time on this. Hey, it says it's best for track. I did not know that about the Gasser. But apparently it's a good track. Well, I know it's, you know, best for the drag strip, right? But not uh, best for, like, the loop-de-loops and stuff. Apparently it is. Apparently it's good for that. We got purple windows. Triassic 5. See that thing right there? My hands look weird. Hmm, yeah, pretty neat. So yeah, I just turned off the high dynamic range thing, and we're trying that out too. You guys are seeing all the experimentation with the new phone. We're just learning. So it's not going to frame rate drop, and it's not going to do the weird HDR thing. I don't know if the colors are going to look as vibrant, but at least it's not going to jump around trying to figure out what it's looking at. And it might be part of it might be the the you know, the black background. Uh, but yeah, Triassic 5, pretty cool. Uh, pretty decent little main line. Sticking with Hot Wheels for a moment, for a few moments here, we've got uh, the 65 uh, Mercury Comet Cyclone in the Hot Wheels Garage Series. This is an older one. Uh, Garage Series came out about, about 12 years ago now, it looks like. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this. Uh, I had to pick this one up. I really do like this casting. It's one of my favorite of the Gasser castings. If not the favorite, but I really do like the Cyclone. Pretty cool. It was kind of like a metal flake black up top. We got some red accents on the side or whatever and silver. Metal on metal, real rider tires, and looks pretty good. There's a little flea bite appears up here in the top. Oh no, that's coming off. It's a neat little machine. So I am digging that. That's pretty awesome. An oldie but a goodie, and uh, very, very cool. I think we're going to save the green light stuff for last. Yeah, well, we got these these beetles. Uh, we could very quickly, man. So you can see how dirty this gets right away just from opening up packaging. It's crazy. I believe this is the only beetle that I needed. Is this green one? I'm gonna double check all the others, but I think this was the only one that I needed. You need, we don't need really need to look at these in detail. Uh, the classic Larry Wood casting. Pretty nifty. I collect it. I go after any variation I don't have. There's definitely going to be some that are going to be near impossible for me to pick up with my budget. Because um, there are some pricey ones. Namely, of course, the Treasure Hunt one that's super expensive. There's some other ones that are really pricey. But it's a cool classic casting. I liked it when I was a kid. You know, Herbie, the Love Bug, of course, all that big influence on you know movie cars were a big influence on me when i was a kid not too much nowadays but uh still very cool there's some of the classics that i really really do like um hot wheels id cars uh this is probably old news of course to a lot of you we're gonna actually cut this packaging 
if I can find a slicing device. Looks like these are stickered right here. Would you open? Oh, you gotta pull it out. Side. One of these days I'm gonna totally slice my finger on camera and that's gonna be pure entertainment. So look forward to that. Car up. So we'll just set that right there. I'm going to pull out the other one here. So I don't really like the lighting on that. Here we go. We got camera jumping around again. And I'm going to go ahead and get the Mercedes AMG out as well. And set that next to it. So I went from like pretty much owning zero ID cars to now I have like three or four of them. And they are, they are kind of neat. Um, the Spectra Flame paint is cool. The wheels are kind of cool. Of course, they're all going to have these plastic bases with these little chips in the bottom or whatever. The ID part of the ID. It was a nifty idea from Mattel. And they released some really cool cars and some of them are really expensive um, already. So... It's kind of a neat line. I'm kind of glad it's they're not doing them anymore. Did it just do that thing again? Yeah, it did. So the HDR has nothing to do with that. It's just the automatic lighting adjustment. So. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right. I just did one more setting change. And uh, that was to lock the camera from switching cameras automatically. Now it will not do that anymore. It's going to stay where it is, which means I think we only have a focal length. Uh, well, we can get pretty close with this one camera without switching. And so it shouldn't jump around anymore. That's great. All right. And the HDR is back on, so the colors might look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, again, learning, always learning never not so i do like it i do like these id cars i think they're kind of cool but let's move on all right so <clears throat> next up well we only got green light left and this mini gt so let's get into the mini gt first i'm gonna go ahead and cut the package on this one so this is a mio exclusive mini gt this one is actually exclusive to the us i do not believe they release it in the just a standard box format so if you want it you have to get the so it's a true miho exclusive okay so there's mio exclusives meaning that they're the only way you can get one in the u.s and then there's usa actually like usa exclusives where they only are mio exclusives and they do not release them for other markets and i believe this is one of those very cool looking suit here so yeah i'm definitely digging it looks pretty neat Definitely cool, very detailed, very awesome Mini GT. Definitely think that's neat. All right, so yeah, let's uh, get on with that. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, green light and then uh, we'll be done. So yeah, again, I'm sorry you guys with all the messing around with the cameras and stuff like that. Like I said, it's the only way for me to figure it out. I don't get time really to, to play around with this stuff outside of when I'm actually doing it. So that's kind of it's kind of what we got. It's what we got to deal with. All right, I'm gonna I suppose save the best for last. Get this out of the way and go ahead and cut this package open. Ooh. So again, these are from my uh, my pal's SC diecast. This battalion series. Very neat idea from Greenlight to do this. Very, very cool. This one's got a jammed up wheel. Uh, looks pretty decent though. Pretty neat. You know, it might be screwing all this up. It's just that back, black background. I'm trying to compensate for that. I don't know what that is on that wheel. But again, I mean, opening up package, it's just like filthy. 
All sorts of weird stuff coming out of there. This is a pretty cool looking truck. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Does look pretty decent. And uh, yeah, I kind of dig it. But what we're here really for is the tanks. And let's get out the tanks. We've got 1952 M4 Sherman and a 1941 uh, M4 Sherman. Let's start with the uh, 1941 U.S. Army World War II. So let's go ahead and open it. Need scissors. Carefully pull it out of the package. Man, this thing feels solid. All right. First impressions, these are cool. These are definitely cool. I'm going to just get the other one out of the package right away. So we don't have to deal with trying to cut that open. While we're looking at both of these. This next one is the uh, 1952 variety. I don't know. I'm not a tank connoisseur, so I can't really tell you what's different. So for these, you're definitely going to want to keep the blister thing and do like a little packaging thing where you can put them back kind of in the blister because storing these is definitely going to be a problem if you don't do that for sure. Uh, so we have... So here's the track on it. So the big question is, does the track move well? And my guess is going to be no. These are not going to be great rollers, so to speak. And I, you know, honestly, I would be shocked if they were good rollers, if this thing would actually roll across the ground. And it kind of wants to. But it's definitely not, not going to. I mean, it kind of does. And I, I mean kind of. So this is really going to be a static display model. This is not going to be something you're going to really roll around with. I think that's exactly how it's supposed to look there. And get this track a little bit better on there. I mean, the tracks are rubber. I mean, it's kind of neat. Um, I think this is supposed to slide over a little bit. This isn't quite on right. And, you know, great effort from Greenlight on these. I don't, I didn't expect the track to be great. So we get articulation here. This thing turns. So like the turret turns the, I wouldn't mess with this gun up here. And I wouldn't mess with that one down there because those will break off very easily. So upon first impressions, I mean, the thing's cool. It, they're definitely cool. They're not going to be rollers. I think with a little bit of track adjustment, you can get it to look even better. Um, and I'll probably keep messing with that off the of camera. I think that track is supposed to sit in the middle of the two of the sprocket thingies. So it's going to take some messing around to really get it to look good. We can actually just take one of them off. I think it'll be easy to get back on just so you can kind of see what's going on here. So you got the wheels all right here. These do not articulate beyond just, they do turn and they don't turn very well. And that's probably part of the reason why they're not that great. It's crazy though, that they can put this out in a regular series of car. And I think they cost the same amount because it's a lot of metal. I mean, the whole thing is metal pretty much except for the top, this top bit is plastic but the rest of this is metal and of course like the wheels are plastic as well i think these little things are plastic but uh the bulk of this is metal very very cool and uh, i'll mess around with getting the track on later but it's kind of like the standard what you'd uh the green light tires are made out of is basically what this is uh really neat i i, I think it's a really cool idea i think it's a very ambitious idea uh, to try to pull this off. Now I know uh, Johnny Lightning, you know, round two, they have tanks as well, uh, which they're cool. They're very detailed. The maybe the issue with them would just be that they are not even close to 164 scale in size. They are much, much, much smaller. So, but they're still cool and they're still very detailed. These are pretty awesome because they are 
I believe actual 164, at least a lot closer. And yeah, I mean, putting that track back on did help. I mean, it wants to roll. Either way, it'll take good pictures, and, you know, I think it's a great idea, and it's a cool idea from uh, from Greenlight. So, very nifty. Very, very nifty indeed. Now, the next one is this guy right here. This is the newer variety. It's uh, pretty much the exact same thing. It's got a longer uh, gun in the front. Longer barrel. Uh, I was trying to see if these, these do not move up and down. It's got that uh, thing painted on the front there. Uh, Rice's Red Devils. And again, that's not it's not going to just roll out of the box. Um, and that's fine. But these are very, very cool. All right, so this has been a frustrating experience for me with this camera, uh, to say the least. Not the camera, but the phone or whatever. My iPhone 13 Pro Max. My 8 was much easier to use. You just, you know, I went in and just went and it, and it looked pretty good um you know that was easy to use for video this one um i think i'm gonna have to do some playing around with to get it to really work the way i want it to work and that's fine we'll figure it out uh well i guess highlights for the week definitely the tanks the tanks are cool very very neat let's back this up just a little bit the countach is cool very very neat um you know, a lot of cool stuff in this episode. We got this guy. That's nifty. We've got uh, the skyline. Very cool. Uh, so in all, we, we scored. We got a chase, car culture. So you know everything. You know everything I'd want in a week weekly episode, a weekly haul. All right. Thank you guys again very much for watching. Again, sorry about all the camera talk. And hopefully next week we'll be over that. Probably not. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.